Hello everybody, I'm going to be changing the controllers on the Fido T1. These are the controllers from the original version. So there's the part number if you need it for anything. Um, the reason being, this is the replacement uh, version 2. On pedal assist, we're only getting up to about 14 miles an hour. And using the throttle, it's going up to maybe 22. Whereas on the original version, it was, both of them was getting up to, I think, the 29 I, I saw. So obviously it's a lot slower. Although it is nice and smooth. So, you know, take the choice. Um, so this is how I'm going to change it. So first off, remove the battery as done here. Then we've got to remove this rail that the battery slides up and down. All it is is two, two screws and there's nuts on the back, which are 10 mil, I believe, or possibly eight mil, eight mil. Um, and then it's these four screws to take this plastic cover off. And then these four screws underneath to take the metal cover off. Um, I'm sure you can manage that. So I'll be back when I've done that. So that's the covers off and the battery holder out of the way. Uh, all you need for that is a, a stubby Phillips, just because you've got to get in there. And there's not a lot of room. Um, and an eight mil spanner to go on the nuts. So easy enough so far. And there's the controller right at the top. And it just jiggles out. And this is where the fun starts because what we found on on our two new T1s, the wiring on these, even on our two, there were two different uh, wiring setups. So we may have some jiggery pokery to do to get the old one to fit on the new bike, but we shall see. So what I did when I, because obviously this has been resprayed, so when I put this all back in, I just wrapped a bit of insulating tape around all the, the uh, connectors. Uh, they were originally, they, they all had a, a dab of hot glue on. So to get that off, just cut it with a knife and then just peel it off. But all I've got to do is un unwrap all these uh, and then unplug them all. So I shall do that and see what I've got. So this is the new controller. That's the one I'm hoping to put in there. But as you can see, one major difference. This is the one that goes to the motor on the back wheel. As you can see, that's molded in. Whereas on here, uh, there are several loose different cables, different wires. Um, so, what I don't want to do is, if I can avoid it, is chop this and have to rewire it, it all one by one, figuring out what it is. So I'm going to have a look inside the controller and see if I can rewire it on the inside and just swap the whole, whole lot over. So I'll take that cover off and see what's inside. Okay, so try to get the insides out. So it's four screws on the end cover there and on that one. But then underneath the sticker, there are three more screws. And then the whole lot just... Oops, yeah, so at this point you might think, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write to Fido and ask him for a new controller. That would be the sensible thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've got a soldering iron somewhere. What, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so slight change of plan. <clears throat> I've decided not to cut my one apart and uh, sort of risk messing it up. So I've put it back together for now. I'm gonna email Fido and see if they'll send me a replacement one of these with the, the, the built-in wire for the motor. So in the meantime, uh, I've taken the one out of Sarah's bike, the wife's, um, which I noticed when putting them back together was different. So this is the one that was on hers on the version two. And this is the one from the version one. 
and the part number's the same, and neither of them has the built-in uh, wire to the motor. And having a quick look, all the wiring seems the same. So with a bit of luck, I can just swap these over and it should improve the performance. Uh, we shall see. I'll just we'll just whack that in. It's just a matter of plugging all the wires in. They're all they're all different, so it's really easy. Um, you can't really get anything wrong. There's two. There's only two that are similar. I'll just show you here. Uh, these two, I think it is. Which have the same number of connectors. So just look at the colour of the wires, and then you'll be able to match them up. Um, but yeah. You can't really get it wrong. And just to be aware, one of them is, isn't used. I think it might be that one, I think. But yeah, there'll be one left over, so don't worry about that. That's, I don't know what it's for, but you don't use it. Right, so I'm gonna get this in and then see how we do with the speed. I've just shoved the controller back in the box, just temporarily, to get the battery on. Um, and, so now, lifting the back wheel off the ground with the throttle in pass level three, say 28. And yeah, so I managed to chop the end of the video off. Yeah. So the upshot was with the throttle, it was showing 28 miles an hour. Then what you didn't see was I was. I turned the pedals by hand and it also went up to 28 miles an hour, so all good. So all we can take away from that is Fido have done at least two different kind of controllers. So the only way to tell really is to take the cover off, um, pull the controller out and see if that big thick black wire is moulded in or not. Um, if it is, then you've either got a lot of soldering to do or ask Fido for a replacement but if you're lucky and you've got one like Sarah's one which is exactly the same it looks the same and the part and it's the same the connection is all the same but it's programmed differently so straight swap put it back together and you've got the same performance as you had on the original bike so there you go um, I hope that's some use um, one of the commenters on one of my last videos asked if I was going to do this, so um, that's that's why it's here. So yeah, hope it's uh, useful, and I hope you enjoy your new bikes. And uh, speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.